Hello and welcome to the InsoleStore.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to heat mold your new Sole custom footbeds. To begin, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 200 degrees. In this demonstration, we'll be using the Sole Softtech Ultra footbeds, but the process is the same for all Sole heat moldable insoles. To remove them from their package, simply bend the forefoot area, tilting up, and then pulling forward. Now, we'll want to remove our old insoles or sock liners from our shoes. If you do not have removable insoles, simply skip this step. As you can see here, my old sock liner definitely needs some replacing. Now, we'll want to check for proper sizing. To do this, simply place your old insole on top of the new one. Be sure to align the heel area. Next, you'll want to align the toes and trim if necessary. You can view our Trim to Fit video for step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Now that the oven is preheated, place your footbed side by side on a pan or baking sheet. Cookie sheets work best. Be sure that the optotherm indicator is facing outward and is visible through the oven door. We'll want to wait until this turns black or no longer than three minutes. Now is a great time to go ahead and set your timer. After your three minutes are up or your optotherm indicator is turned black, You'll want to go ahead and remove the footbeds from the oven. Be sure to keep your shoes nearby as we'll want to go ahead and place the footbeds in them as soon as possible. Don't worry, it is safe to touch the footbeds. Just be careful when removing them from the pan as to not touch the pan sides. Now, let's go ahead and place them in our shoes. Be sure that the heels align all the way at the back of your shoe. Go ahead and step in and let's let the molding process begin. You'll want to stand up straight and tall with your feet shoulder width apart for approximately two minutes. After the two minutes are up, the molding process is complete. You can now remove your new heat molded sole custom foot pads. You can also use these in any other pairs of shoes you wish, such as work boots or sports shoes. Now, as you'll notice in the video, my optotherm indicator did not turn black, but that's okay. The molding process worked anyway. We hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to check out our other educational videos for more great tips. And as always, be sure to check us out at theinsolestore.com.